All right, the Camaro is amongst some cool stuff. Getting a fresh, I wouldn't call it a wrap, it's more of just like a sticker pack. So this is what I've had for now. I redid it from the back windshield to the side. And then on the other side here, we got the kind of mismatch ones. So I'm trying to make those all unison, clean it all up. Nothing on the back windshield at the moment, but got some plans for something. So I'm gonna do something there before Texas. Um, I got a leak trans fluid in here, but sorry, Chris. Sorry, Project Prime. Um, so we're filled right now. Um, redo the motion stuff, redo the 1320 VPA, fast forward race engines, all that kind of good stuff. Induction is good. Put something on the back windshield, but we're amongst cool stuff over here. All right, well, just picked the Camaro back up from Project Prime and they redid all the stickers. No color change wrap or anything, but you know, across the bottom. Prime Precision Turbo, Fast Forward Race Engines, Automatic Transmission Factory, 1320 Video Ignite Racing Fuel, SRQ Performance Parts, Local Speed Shop. Gets me my nitrous um, over here. Put the Cooper Bogetti and even has it in pewter. And then on the other side, it's not symmetrical. On the other side, we have TISS Fab, Titanium, Pro EFI, ECU, Motion Raceworks. Obviously, you guys know them. BC Cams and uh, BPA for the uh, exhaust manifold that we use. So super pumped to have this look. And then I went a little overboard and I decided to put a gigantic QR code on the back so that when people go to film the car from the back, I was hoping that the uh, QR code would pop up and try to take you to my YouTube channel. And then obviously on the front, induction performance, and then even right there, induction performance, but. What are you doing? Classic. Yeah, so pumped with that. They even tried to match the pewter as best they could. Pewter, pewter. But Cooper Bogetti stickers, those look pretty awesome. I've wanted those for a long time. Finally got them, pumped for that. Those are over here chilling. Rotini bouncing around and it is scorching out here so pumped for this it's gonna look good going out to texas all right so i'm doing a little test on my wastegates here and so this is with a bunch of soap on them a little bit of diaphragm leaking i'd say probably not really holding pressure so i just kind of put this line on there. Should probably just hold pressure, not just keep putting air in. You know, like I don't think it should just keep flowing air. You can definitely feel it. Okay, so I'm doing a little surgery here. Um, I am swapping my trans brake and bump button around because I've always had it wrong. This is my trans brake, so when I have to let off a button, I'm doing it with my left hand, which I am a righty, so I'd rather be doing it with my right hand and bump in with my left hand, so I can kind of do like, maybe like one of these where I'm like, kind of like that, you know, like hold it like that, and right handed will probably help me be a little faster. That's the hope. Um, I'm not, you know, terrible on the light when I'm actually trying. Um, if you've ever seen some of my trees when I'm actually in competition, they're not bad, they're not great, but when, obviously when I'm in um, not competition, I don't really care that much. But something I want to uh, work on and changing this up should help. All right, as you guys know, the podcast has been a big focus of mine lately and um, I'm in here just tweaking away on things. Um, let's go through some of the new equipment because there's a lot of cool fancy stuff. So in here we have a 
Rodecaster Pro 2 now for audio. We have a Sony A6400, both brand new. And then over here, we got some Zoom microphones. Not the best, not the worst, kind of mid-grade, but they do really good for what I'm trying to do. Obviously, if we had something like really loud, like singing or something, probably be a little questionable. Um, this is for my phone. This is really nice and it's not in the shot. The shot like it starts like right there. So it's just kind of everything like here, I guess like that is the shot. The wiring is not done yet. I'm going to um, get some longer wires and some boom arms and put them off the shelving and then um, on either side and then run the wires under and over, but I gotta get some longer wires. This is just the kit. It's kind of all for testing purposes because the table can be loud. And then I learned something very new and cool that this camera, even if you're charging it, so charging it on like a nice little five volt USB deal like this, it will not stay, um, it will not stay powered. So you can let it charge all day, your whole life, Let's sit there charging while you're recording and it's going to still die. So I had to get a dummy battery. So dummy battery right here. This swaps out for the battery and then plugs in so that it can keep it running ideally. Classic. While why that doesn't work like that, I will never know. But dummy battery should make it easy enough. Super pumped to try to use the Roadcaster more. It's a little hot in here right now, but it is midday. It's about 80 in here right now, um, AC pumping. I just need to insulate it more and insulate this room more, which will come this summer. I need to, you can see through the curtain right here. I have a thicker curtain right in the middle. And then these are thin curtains. This is just a wall, so it doesn't matter. But that needs to be insulated more. The ceiling is obviously insulated. And then I hope that AC will keep up. If not, I can just get another one and then it should keep up. So permanent situation now i got some headphones so i can test audio quality and um yeah this should be fun i got some really cool people coming on and everybody that walks in here is very um stoked normally to be in a setting like this i think it helps a lot for excitement and like people enjoying what they um what they're doing and feeling more professional so gonna get this whole set up because i got a podcast in a few hours and hopefully it cools off in here but once you're kind of sitting and the air is blowing on the guest, it's not as bad. The air kind of blows right on the guest right here, so it helps. All right, but I'm gonna end this video off there. Uh, I got some new waste gates coming from Induction Performance. They got some Turbo Smart ones on the shelf. We were back and forth on whether we should rebuild these or just put some new uh, Turbo Smart ones on, and they have a great sales program with turbo smart so if you're trying to get some waste gates check out induction performance we're going to swap blow off valve and waste gates over to some turbo smarts we're not going to do the e-gate just because um this system has been working well for us when it's working well of course um when they're brand new and good parts um they're good parts but the precisions are good parts but um we've just worn them out we've put so much co2 through them so much heat through them they're just worn out so we're going to swap to the Turbo Smart ones. Not doing E-Gate. Um, they have them on the shelf, but um, we just don't want to uh, go down the rabbit hole of tuning the E-Gate stuff. This car is on a Pro EFI, not like a fuel tech like Boosted Boys or like a Haltech or something that's more designed with the E-Gates in mind. So we're just gonna go with something that we know works with this ECU. Not all ECUs cooperate well with the E-Gates. They're a big tuning nightmare. So with TX2K so close, you know, two weeks away, um, not really gonna try to swap to something completely different, just swap to something that's basically the same, if more or less. So we're gonna do that and then it should be back to where it was. Shouldn't be an issue there. I'm not gonna put the dump valve back on, um, but yeah, so that's the update. New stickers, giant QR code on the back. Project Prime stickers, all my sponsor logos. Love the way that looks, but that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, supporting all the stuff. And um, if you wanna watch this channel, subscribe. If you wanna watch the podcast, um, Bogey Studios on YouTube. Um, thank you guys so much. I will see you next time.